So guys, in today's video, I'm here to share with you an amazing perfume combination of three fragrances that I love to wear in the summertime when I'm going out. So I can collect compliments and smell really intoxicating. Make sure you are watching if you want to find out which fragrances give me that feeling. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time. That would be awesome if you could do that, as well as make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you love to wear multiple perfumes at once as well. And once you're done with that, we can get started! everyone and welcome to another layering episode. As you know, I really love to mix different fragrances and it is very rare that I am wearing only one perfume. So I would like to know if you are like me and one fragrance is not enough for you. And today I have a rose theme for you, kind of like continuing my rose obsession I'm going through this summer. That's why I have already shared with you a top 10 list of very fresh rose-centered fragrances that I prefer during the summertime. But today we are going to talk about different rose perfumes because they are deep, sexy, intoxicating. And I am wondering if you have a great rose fragrance in your collection and how do you feel about roses overall? I personally am a big fan of this note because it can be done so differently as you will see in this video. So usually I prefer to be guided by a theme when I'm talking about layering perfumes, but I know that um, many people wear very different kind of fragrances, so let me know which way do you prefer to do that, uh, wear perfumes that smell similar or completely different. Alrighty then, let's get started, and I want to begin with a fragrance that is gonna be our base, so I will spray the most of it, and it is one of my newer discoveries. I'm doing that because um, I technically know this perfume. So it is from the brand One Perfumes. That is an Italian based company that creates fragrances that are inspired by other very popular ones. And just recently I have filmed a video in which I shared with you my impression of top 10 of their perfumes. So if you're interested in the quality and actual similarity to the fragrances that I inspired by, make sure to check out that video, the link to which you will find down below in the description box, as well as other helpful information. But let's get back to this one, which is inspired by the fragrance from the brand Jo Malone, and it is called Rose and White Mask Absolute. So this is the fragrance in the oriental style. Basically, it is about rose and wood, but there is also amber and musk. So it is pretty intense and um, mysterious. However, it is not too much for the summertime because sometimes oriental perfumes, they can be too heavy, which this one isn't. That's why I will be spraying a lot of it. So this will go all over me, on my hair, on my skin, on my clothes. It's just a nice base that is not too cool, it's not too warm, it smells really expensive, and I think that um, you cannot really overspray it, and it smells very luxurious, like a nice niche perfume that's gonna be suitable for men and women, so make sure to check out their website, and I also have a link for you, so yeah. On that note, One Perfumes is this beautiful base canvas on which we'll put some extra stuff. And as you've probably already seen me spraying it on, I'll do that one more time, this sprayer is just amazing. And although you might think it is too strong, actually, it's not, and I love to wear it when I'm going out because it really attracts people, even on its own. But of course, today I am all extra in this animalic dress with a pretty <laughs> nighttime makeup and golden jewelry. I want uh, even more roses on me, and that's why I'm going next with Montal's fragrance that is called sensual instinct and as you know i really like this one because for me this is the baby of a garage rouge pfeiffer oh my mason francisco region and their intense cafe that i like really much but for me it has less some um, harshness than Baccarat Rouge because it is really mellowed by that sweet and um, absolutely amazing sugary uh, chocolatey rose so I've already compared it to the Instant Crush by Mansara, just in case you're wondering 
if they're different or not you can check out that video for more information this one i'll be spraying on my neck so one two and three on my hair so when i'll be dancing and moving this beautiful sexy scent because you know it has this gorgeous dry down of a correct rouge and at the same time it has very playful intense cafe vibe it will definitely make people aware that someone wears a nice uh, fragrance so i just really like the vibe of sensual instinct for me this is definitely a going out fragrance and it is even not too much for the summertime so just in case you still don't have it make sure to check it out but i'm pretty much sure that many people already um, got it in their collection so please let me know how you feel about it and i want to top this intense rosiness that is already going on myself with a, such a powerful and gorgeous fragrance from Tiziana and Paola Terenzi and it is their deadly poisonous and irresistible Cicuta from Quinto Canto range and you guys this perfume smells so realistically of roses you won't even believe it and I'm spraying kind of like on my breast area on my dress only two times because this is powerful stuff that definitely smells of roses but Oh, these roses are sweet and extremely juicy so in the opening you will get the note of clementine and orange and it smells a little bit like candy orange because of the very very noticeable vanilla note in there but still it is so mouth-watering juicy and summery in the opening absolutely amazing and later of course it turns in this bold and strong rose and in the dry down there is such sugary and amazing vanilla and as we all know vanilla perfumes attract people and I can't get enough of vanilla fragrances I love vanilla in all perfumes I wouldn't call it straightforward vanilla but it is vanillic rose um, hands down so yeah powerful strong projection beast mode and at the same time you know it still stays elegant although a little bit uh, provoking as well and if you're wondering where you can get it check out so avant-garde web shop i even have a discount so you can save some money and that you will um, find in the description box so make sure to check that out and to sum up why i chose these three fragrances is very easy because one perfumes inspiration of rose and white mask absolute is this expansive smelling and pretty familiar to people rose to oud musk and amber fragrance once again not too overwhelming so i went heavy on that and that just created a canvas for our rose layering and then sensual instinct is the sexiest one it has a little bit of a crud rouge and intense cafe vibe and those two fragrances are very well received so topping it with cicuta will just lock the power of the rose on me all day or even night long which is great if you're going out so i sincerely hope that you found this video helpful and i would like to know if you love roses and which fragrances you love to layer that might um, be interesting for me to check out of course if you have an idea for the next layering episode just let me know it as well as your feedback down below don't forget to follow me on my social media and please stay tuned and smell good give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and we'll see each other really soon bye